On April 5, 2024, the Russian army conducted another brilliant operation to destroy strategically important military facilities in the territory of Ukraine. So, a few hours ago it became known that the Russian Combat Aviation and Missile Forces launched a targeted missile strike on classified military facilities of the armed forces of Ukraine and NATO forces, in the Kharkiv region. Powerful explosions were recorded in cities such as Izium and Kharkiv. Moreover, in the area of the settlement of Korotik, which is located to the west of Kharkiv, two powerful explosions were also recorded at military facilities of the armed forces of Ukraine. As it turned out, Russian ballistic missiles destroyed a sports airfield there, which was located between the settlement of Korotik and the highway M03. According to Russian intelligence, the armed forces of Ukraine secretly used this airfield to transfer militants of the main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense to the border of the Kursk and Belgorod regions. Moreover, the underground warehouses of this airfield were also destroyed. In particular, unmanned aerial vehicles were stored there, which were used to attack Russian border towns. According to monitoring services, as a result of this missile attack, this sports airfield was completely wiped off the face of the earth. In Kharkiv, Russian ballistic missiles destroyed the building of a local educational institution. As it turned out, the Ukrainian High Military Command secretly converted this civilian building into a place of deployment of personnel of the Ukrainian army and foreign mercenaries. According to representatives of the Russian military department, as a result of this missile attack, more than 80 Ukrainian soldiers and foreign mercenaries from Eastern and Western Europe were destroyed. Moreover, the Russian military department confirmed the fact that the armed forces of Ukraine increasingly began to use the buildings of schools, kindergartens, and dormitories as places for the deployment of the personnel of the Ukrainian army and foreign mercenaries. Meanwhile, in the city of Izium, Kharkiv region, very catastrophic events occurred for the Ukrainian general staff and its NATO military advisors. As it turned out, early in the morning of April 5, Russian Iskandarem ballistic missiles, together with Geranium Kamikaze drones, hit and destroyed a secret military facility of the main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, along with militants of the Kiev regime, foreign mercenaries, and reserves of the armed forces of Ukraine, who were preparing to be sent to chase Yar. According to preliminary data, there were about 2,000 militants at this base. At the same time, it is worth noting that this base was created with the assistance of the North Atlantic Alliance and in fact, was one of the classified facilities of this Western military organization in Ukraine. Russian military sources confirmed that as a result of this missile attack, all targets were successfully hit and destroyed. Unfortunately, the Russian side did not report the exact number of casualties among foreign mercenaries and Ukrainian soldiers. However, it is known for certain that immediately after this attack, the Ukrainian High Military Command postponed the dispatch of the Ukrainian Army's reserves to Chasevyar, which indicates that Russian missiles and drones still destroyed a fairly large number of Ukrainian soldiers and foreign mercenaries, 